Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Scott and welcome to The Sims Mobile. I am so excited about this. It is finally out in the stores. You can now get it for Android and iOS. I will put a link down below in the description to the game if you haven't already got it. Of course I'm going to start doing some videos on this game. I have briefly played before, months and months and months ago, where it feels like, so, it, feels like it was almost a year ago, like maybe when... I first knew about this game coming out and oh my goodness it has been a long time coming. In this first video I think we're just going to take a little look through the creator sim and see what that is all about. So welcome to the sims mobile, let's create your first sim. So we can just see another sim when it first comes up, you can just um, randomise and get sims. Or of course you can customise, which we'll, we'll get a good base to start with, should we? Let's go with this one and then we will customise her. So change your sim's name here. Again, you can randomise the names, the surname and the first name. We will enter our own. So our sim is going to be called Fairy Dust. So let's go into the head section. There are so many different ways of customising your sim. So you have presets, so we're currently in the head section. So you can click through and find a head that you like. But then once you have one that you like, you can also click on this little pencil icon here, which you can then change, I don't know what we could call these, um, like sliders. You can use these sliders and change it even more, which is amazing. To be honest, I'm not seeing that much of a difference in skin color is all the way here on the left and there are various different shades you can go for with skin color you can even go for blue this weird gray color or green i was kind of hoping that they had like a pinkish color so i could be like a pink fairy but they don't have a pink one but never mind we'll go with this one let's change the hair there are so many different hairstyles and again you've got your color selector over on this side we can have pink hair so maybe we should go for some pink hair loads of different styles we'll just go through and take a look at some of them oh look at this one i like that a lot you can also change eyebrows in here so i mean should we go for which eyebrows those ones let's go for those slightly no Mm, these ones, yeah, I like them. Then we can do eyes. So you choose your eyes first of all and then apply makeup. And again, you've got your colour selector down here. I think we're going to go... Have we not got... Okay, oh yeah, we have got blue eyes. There we go, we'll go with some blue. Maybe that's too blue. Now we'll go for those blue eyes. And again, we've got the pencil selection. So eye distance and eye position is over here on this slider doesn't seem to be changing can anybody see that changing and then let's apply makeup and so we've got blush so we're kind of going to go for a very kind of pinky kind of feel with fairy dust so we've got blush there and then eyeshadow and liner so we've two different options over here i think we should go for the pink eyeshadow the darker pink maybe let's go for the darker pink and then we have got, of course, we've got lipstick. And again, this colour is on the left-hand side. Loads of different colours. I like that we've got some kind of, not realistic, but, well, yeah, so realistic colours. And then we've also got some kind of out there colours as well. I think we'll go for that perfectly one on that one. And then we have got nose. So you could pick, pick a nose. I feel like we want a tiny little dinky nose and... I was going to say we can pick the colour of the nose, but I think that is just going to be the colour of the skin, right? Yeah, that's the colour of the skin, not that we can individually pick a random colour for the nose. That would be a little bit weird, right? And then again, you've got the slider that you can use, nose width and height. This is definitely... Oh, oh, there you go, that was changing, right? That changed. So you can really adapt your sim quite a lot. Look at it from the side really change her by using that those sliders okay let's go in and do mouth 
this one and we'll do sliders with this because they're slightly too big I think okay then we've got cheeks over here so let's see the presets I'm gonna go with that and then let's have a little look at the sliders cheek fullness and height I kind of wanted to have more of a fuller Full of cheeks to be honest and then what have we got chin chin width and chin position again you've got your slider there and chin profile so let's see yeah you can make it stick out more look that's cool and then we've got ears you can't really see her ears to be honest they're hidden and you've got your sliders again, ear prominence and ear size. And then that is this part of the create a sim. If you then go out of it, so we've done the head. Now we need to do the body. And same thing goes that we have some options that we can choose from, some presets. And then you can go in and change it with the slider. So waist width and hip size. So we can make a like crazy skinny there if you bring the sliders all the way. Or a bit more on the chunky side. Although that isn't really chunky at all, is it, to be quite honest. <laughs> but I mean, let's take it to be just average. Chest size and chest height. So we can make huge boobs. Huge high boobs or small <laughs> low boobs. Again, we'll just kind of put it in the centre there. We can then choose, oh, physique. So she can be like super buff, not so buff, less buff. Are these like, yeah, look, in the profile. I mean, I don't want a super buff, but... Let's go into the sliders because we can body mass and fitness. So let's. Whoa. Okay. So she can there. She's like crazy fit. Okay. Let's just go in the middle again with that because I don't really want her having those six pack, that six pack belly profile. Stick out the belly or bring it, suck it right in. <laughs> again, let's just go slightly, slightly more than average. I mean, that's not average, is it? But you know what I mean. <laughs> Slightly more than middle. Oh, extremities. So you can choose oh, whether to have like skin, really skinny legs, thicker legs. Let's see the sliders on this. Shoulder width, butt profile and leg thickness. Wow, this is so insane how kind of detailed this is. There is a lot to be able to choose from in this. And then now comes the point where we style our sim. So we have hair and hats, apparel, makeup and accessories. So hair and hats, we have kind of done the hair already. So we're happy with that. We've then got apparel, which obviously is clothes. And we have tops, bottoms and shoes. And the options, we don't start with very many. I assume maybe that we will win some or collect more clothes as the game goes on but you can choose various different outfits and then change the color on the different outfits i feel like maybe we should go for this top here i like this top comes in various different colors but we're gonna go for the pinky color and then the bottoms it's either jeans skirt another skirt or like cropped ripped jeans let's go with just some jeans. I would like people to see the whole body. Like you can't see the whole of the body with this bit. You can only see the bottoms. I'd like to see how it all looks together, which you can't do, which is a shame. And then shoes. We have some boots, some trainers, some little slip-ons, some nice little wedges and some flip-flops. I think I may go for wedges here. Or maybe flip-flops, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go with flip-flops. So to see the whole of the sim, you have to come out of that. No, I can't even see the whole of the sim there. That's 
I don't know, I don't kind of like that. I would like you all to see the whole sim, like I said. Um, there, yeah, we can also go back into makeup from here, but we're happy with her makeup. And then we've got accessories. So we have some glasses, which we can change the colours on. I quite like it with glasses, to be honest. Ooh. Should we go with some glasses? I think I'm going to go with some glasses, you know. Let's go with some glasses for now. And then we have some earrings. We just have one type of earring, a little hoop there. Again, we can change the colour on them. So maybe we have a with some earrings in there and leg wear so if she would have a skirt on doesn't really make sense with jeans and flip-flops does it but if she had a skirt on and you can take them off by just clicking on it and they will come off i don't know no, i'm quite happy i think with her in her jeans so there you go we've created our first sim and that is a little look through the create a sim aspect of sims mobile I think it's really, really good. There is so much customization that you can do for a mobile game. I think that's amazing, the customization that you can do with your sim. Join me pretty soon. I am going to be having a bit of a recording frenzy with Sims Mobile. So expect some more videos out today because, like I said, I've been waiting for this game for a long, long time. And I know lots of you have as well. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you haven't got the game, remember there's a link down below in the description so you can go ahead and get it. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!